Welcome to our Facebook live crafting session from Come Crafting with Jill and Jez. I'm Jill. And I'm Jez. And on the first, on the first Saturday of every month, we do a joint live crafting session over in our Facebook group, Come Crafting with Jill and Jez. If you'd like to watch along live next time, please come and join our group. There'll be a link below this video. I hope you enjoy watching. I'm so sorry, everybody. At first, at first, there was no live video button. And then it wouldn't rotate. Um, I think maybe I need a new phone. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe <laughs> I need a new phone. This, was a, this is not a very modern phone. And um, it was a um, refurbished one. So I think maybe... Every time it updates, it seems to have more and more problems. So, well, oh, they, they eventually don't update, don't they? Yeah. So, um, anyway, right. What are we making? Phew. Okay. We are using, if I can find it, we're using this stamp set. Let's set sail. Oh, with the really. punch. And it wasn't one that jumped at me at, no, at me at first, but actually, I quite like it because I quite like sailing boats. I quite like cards with sailing boats on. Bit different, bit different from flowers, as you all know. I've got loads of flowers. Um, so this is what we're making. So yeah, I made it with my husband in mind, although I'd already made him a camper van card, so I'll have to decide which one he's going to get for his birthday next month. But this one, he likes sailing as well, so this one um, was meant to be for him. But I don't know whether it just looks. Maybe that boat looks a bit childlike. Maybe it would be better for a child. I don't know. But anyway. That's what we're going to make. Lovely. So, I have got a piece of cardstock, piece of white cardstock, which is eight centimeters by twelve and a half. And I haven't done the inches, so I'll just do the inches. It is three and a quarter by five. Well, Karen's saying she's looking forward to some inspiration because she got that set yesterday. Karen's a sailor as well. Yeah. So, and then I've got this tape which is um like post-it tape except it's a different make because they don't make post-it tape anymore so this is wider but actually it works quite well for this project um, you've used so, that before when you did well, the I, yeah, ma yeah the masking mask yeah, yeah um i didn't like it at first because it's a bit wide but actually i've grown to love it now so i'm just going to put that halfway across my card not, not a bit more than doesn't really matter but it's, it's a little bit high, higher than halfway and then i'm going to take i'm going to change so here i used coastal cabana and coastal cabana ink um but i'm going to use balmy blue today i'm going to have blue i did use balmy blue for the sky on this one and i'm going to do that again but then the sea is going to be balmy blue as well so i want a very very pale blue sky the first version i did the, the pale blue was the blue was too bright so i'm going to do a very very pale sky with the blending brushes and the ink so just ink the brush wipe a little bit of the ink off and then i find if you come in from the edge you don't sort of get any horrible splodges of color so just a circling motion take off the bulk of the ink and then come in from an edge so i don't want much more color than that i don't think for my sky I think people are going to want you to put a link for that post-it note yeah well. yeah i can do although i bought it ages ago i hope it's still on there right and then i'm going to swap my tape over and i'm going to put it to line up with that one so now we're going to do the c so we get a very clear horizon and what we're going to do is we're going to use this long thin stamp stamped over and over again to make our c oh, fabulous so just ink it up and I'm going to stamp it off and then stamp like so. Well, Ali says it is still available on Amazon. Yeah, you get, I bought it, I think I bought it, but you had to buy five, I think, in a pack, but I will use it all, so I don't mind, didn't mind buying five. There, and this just gives a sort of a wavy C impression. Yeah, I like that. I have to stamp it five or six times to fill up the card. Just overlapping a little bit. As waves do. My, my son just arrived as I was off camera. 
and he's come and grabbed uh, his stuff and I think he's gone again now. And that was a oh, thing I hardly, since I hardly ever seen him. That was a very fleeting visit that he's got a yeah. gig in Brighton tonight. So um, he was meant to be in Brighton by about two, I think. And he's going to be late because he was mm. here at two. Right. And so I'm just going to go over with this, just with a little bit of ink, just filling those white spaces. Mm -hmm. there. And that's my background for my card. So oh, that's wonderful. An inky, inky sea. Picture. everybody's loving your waves so I'll just put that to one side for the minute i should have gone to the loo while we were off camera actually hey ho we'll battle on dmi thank you <laughs> sorry dmi <Yeah. laughs> um right okay so i'm going to stamp all the bits of the the um the yacht on here and i'm going to use i'm going to use balmy blue again and i'm going to use pacific points for the sails this time mm -hmm. So, I do like Pacific Point, and I find myself not using it very often. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's an odd colour, really, because it's not a really bright blue. It's not a navy blue. So I'm doing one sail in balmy blue. One sail in. Oh no, that's balmy blue again. It's me going balmy. <laughs> one in Pacific Point. Let's just clean this stamp. I liked Island Indigo. We were talking about colours coming back. Oh, yeah. Loved Island Indigo. Yeah. It's a shame they can't keep them all on a sort of retired oh, list or something, isn't it? Yeah. They are some lovely colours that we miss out on. So that's that one. And then I'm going to use Soft Suede to do the boat and the, the mast. like so another color i don't use much soft suede oh i use soft suede all the time yeah, yeah i don't use it much right so then, and table. i've done these done these separately because it's one of these punches where you have to you know you're not going to be able to punch well you could line your stamps up but then you wouldn't be able to do them different colors yeah so i'm just gonna punch that one out there and this one out See, if I had that punch, I'd be like looking at it thinking, what else could I make apart from a punch? Yeah, yeah. Trim a little bit of that off, it won't turn enough. Santa hats. Yeah, could do, yeah. Gnome hats. Little gnomes, little pixies. Gnome um, and then this is just going to go in here. And I'm going to trim a bit of that off as well. That could be a golf flag, couldn't it? Yeah, it could be a tea. It reminds me of a golf tee, actually. Yeah. Um, but I haven't used this. the first time I've used this set. Is it? it ages ago, yeah. I've done exactly the same as I do in every flipping catalogue. I buy far too much that I don't have time to use. Yeah. Okay. I'm a bit more restrained. Well, I thought I was being a bit more restrained, but I still seem to have loads of stuff that I've not used enough. And we've got the new annual catalogue coming at us at a rate of knots. Oh, no. oh, have I just thrown that away? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there it is. I was going to say, I'm not going not to look for it. I'm going to do another one, but there, I found it. Oh, In the bin. In the bin. Excellent. Right, okay. So let's, um, before we stick that on, let's mount this all up. So I'm going to take a piece of Pacific Point and I'm going to do it half a centimetre bigger than my base. So my base, remember, was eight by 12 and a half. Yeah. So this is going to be eight and a half by 13. So 13 that way. I do like the cards where the mats are that little bit smaller. Verity does that a lot, and I really yeah. like it. I yeah. just don't do it. I'm going to cut that bit off because that's a bit a wonky bit of card. And then, what did I say? Eight and a half. And hopefully, if I've done this right, that is just going to map with a tiny, tiny frame around it like that. Yes. There we go. I do like it sometimes with a really little thin border, yeah. just enough yeah. to... Up. Yeah, I did that on today's blog card. Yeah, it's just just 
depends what sort of mood I'm in sometimes. I I prefer just a smidgen more than this, but it just makes all the measuring really hard. So, mm. you know, you just have to do, um, so this is much easier if you just do half a centimetre bigger. And that's fine. That's quite nice. And then that's going on my balmy blue card blank. Right. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? No. Well, I did wonder whether I'd prefer on this one a white card blank, but I'm going with balmy blue, but I might, I think I still might have preferred white. But I seem to use so much white. I'm trying to use a bit more coloured mm. blanks. I do use a lot of white. There we go. I was like that with mine. I was going to double mat it to have a white on the background. I'm exactly the same. Yeah. There we go. Is that quite straight? I think so. Right, now all my bits of yacht I'm going to mount onto dimensionals the mast is very tricky to mount um, yeah it's, it's quite big. little isn't it it's quite thin so you have to cut thin, thin slivers so if I bring my snips so. and some tweezers I I'm remembering to use my tweezers more and more now no, I'm I can't, can't survive without a pair of scissors. In fact, somebody, um, I don't think Sally's watching today, Sally, um, one of the new newer pooplers, um, was asking me about quilling and asked me what she needed. And I forgot to say you need a pair of tweezers. I yes. need one all the time. But maybe she's got tweezers for crafting anyway. Right, so just very carefully down the length of the yacht. And I think... Um, these little dimensionals will just about fit. Where's it gone? So they brought out mini dimensionals, didn't they, to fill in smaller yeah. gaps, and they're still not small enough for something. No. And to be honest, I I quite often just cut up the bigger ones. Yeah. Um, just think it's easier just to have one and cut them up. I quite like with the minis, you get a really big margin. Yeah, you do. Edges. Yeah, and that's, and that's quite handy having a really thick... frame or something. Yeah. Right, okay, so where's my boat going to go? I'm going to do it a bit lower than I did before, so I think the other one's a bit high, so I'm going to do that about there. Oh, and I meant to have stamped the shadow before I did that. That's what I've forgotten to do. Can I peel this off? Yeah, I should be able to. There we go. Right, let's do that first. So I'm going to take Pacific point and do the little shadowy stamp of you York, which I think is quite a nice touch actually. It really makes a difference. Mm. It looks quite nice. Yeah. Um, so we'll do that a bit lower than we did before then. So we'll do that there. Like so. And then we'll stick our this this poor mask must be wondering what it's done wrong. It's been in the bin. It's been stuck, <laughs> stuck on and then discarded again. They probably thought, yeah, yeah, I'm finally on the card. Oh, no, I'm yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the two sails to put on. So, a few dimensionals on there. You see, this is the difference between me and Jez. I take my dimensional backs off and I just fling them wherever they go. And then they end up all over the house. So that is going. I just developed that funny technique with using my thumb and then, yeah. which is not like me because I'm not neat normally. Can you see my shells? I'm not <laughs> neat. <laughs> and then this one. I just realised you can see Johnny. Love Johnny Depp, especially right. as a pirate, because he talks like me when he's a pirate. And then that goes there. Oh, that was a bit further over. Like so. And then Oh, I like that. Wonderful colours. I do. We need some birds. I'll do them in black. So you get the birds in the stamp set as well. So they've thought of everything really. Mm. So a few little seagulls up here. Like so. Although you can easily draw them. Yeah, you could easily draw some seeds. Just but say. They may they may not look quite as nice as that. And then just to do the um do the greeting, 
I've got happy birthday from Peaceful Moments. So this stamp set. So because I wanted it, I wanted one that fitted in a circle. Yeah. So I'm going to use Pacific Point again to tie that all together. And it's on daffodil yellow because I've done it on a circle. So it's a bit like a sun up in the corner mm. of the card. So. I thought so that was And then I'm using one of the, I never know what they're called, tasteful labels, is they called? Something yeah. like that. And I'm using this one, which has got a zigzaggy edge and a little bit of stitching. So I'm just going to do that. And find a bit of washi, which I thought I had. But now I need another bit. I can reach it. Talk amongst yourself. I've got loads here, Jill. Yeah, no, thank you. I've got some. Got some. Just couldn't get at it. Right, and I'm just gonna scooch my oh, my grid paper out of the way. So I only have one sheet rather than a whole pack. Um, what did I do on my plate? Yeah, the man monkey old plate as well, but it's still working. So. If it ain't broke, why fix it? Be right. Just pop that through there. But are you like me? Have you got a new one in the drawer ready? Yeah, I have. And sometimes on camera, I do use the new one. I don't, you know, I kind of bit, a bit embarrassed about the old one, but um, <laughs> so I do use the new one sometimes. But when I when it's just me using it, I use the old one because why? Why not? Um, and so that's just going to go up there. And say happy birthday. <laughs> I'm quite happy that the, the boat is a bit lower on this one. It was a bit too high on the previous one. Um, so that's just going to go up in the corner there like that. And we're done. That's lovely. There's my two cards. Yeah, I see that one's a bit too high up, I think, like this one. Oh, I think they both worked. I like it. Yeah. So there we go. So sorry Fabulous. for all the technical issues, honestly. One one day, Rilla. We, we got on really quickly this morning, this afternoon, didn't we, first thing? Yeah. And then it all went pear shaped from there. <laughs> right, let me turn my camera around gently again. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my projects. Now you can pop over and watch Jezza's project um, and watch her half of the live video and see her amazing projects that she's making. Bye. Bye.